We see their faces all the time. Criminals wanted by police and all you have to do is call in a tip to Crime Stoppers. You don't even have to leave your name, but how does that work and who's getting paid by Crime Stoppers? Melissa Luck has the answer in tonight's Good Question. They are the faces of Spokane's wanted criminals. Men and women wanted for everything from robbery to drugs to identity theft. All you have to do is call them in and you could end up with some cold hard cash. Our rewards range all the way up to $1,000. Eric Green is the president of Crime Stoppers of the Inland Northwest, an organization dedicated to finding criminals and solving crime with the help of us in the media and mostly you. Last year alone, Crime Stoppers got 795 tips, solving 33 cases. Tipsters received more than $3,400 in cash rewards. Who got that money? Not even Crime Stoppers knows for sure. They don't have to give their name or identity at all. They're, they're identified with a code word, a code number, a, a name that they made up or something. And that whole, you don't have to leave your name to get a cash reward thing, isn't just a tagline. Crime Stoppers doesn't know the names of its tipsters and won't reveal how they pay those nameless, faceless crime fighters. And that's a secret. But they do have a pretty good idea of the type of people they're paying. A lot of those people are likely to be featured on Crime Stoppers themselves. That's the lake, that's the river, that's the water we're fishing in. Criminals turning on each other for a little bit of cash in their pocket. We know that our, a lot of our tipsters are not angels. Some of them are, are going after that reward so they can um, buy their next dose of drugs. We don't screen the caller for good behavior. And if the Crime Stoppers program proves one thing, it's that there's no honor among thieves. We've had moms uh, rat out on their sons and daughters. It's the partner in a, in a relationship gone bad. We've had brothers rat out on their sisters. Best friend who burned, got burned. Ex-wives and ex-girlfriends are an excellent source of information for law enforcement. In the end, as long as the crimes are solved, Crime Stoppers says it doesn't matter who's doing the cash-inspired tattling. And the system, with half a million arrests nationwide, seems to be working. Uh, we've had tips that solved homicides. Uh, we've had tips that have solved some very significant crimes. With this good question, I'm Melissa Luck, KXOY4 HD News.